And on this week's episode, um, we are going to be having a special guest on set. Um, yeah, this special guest is somebody that you guys haven't seen before. Somebody that you guys definitely do not know who he is. And that's why we have the inner circle so that you, he can introduce himself to the gaming community so that we can know who he is. And I'm going to allow Eric, that's his name, to take the stage right now and tell us who he is. So, Mr. Eric, please let us know who you are, sir. Okay, uh, yeah, as you all know from uh, Leo, my name is Eric and uh, my code name is Frozen, while my in game name is Sound Buzz. Sound Buzz, wow, okay. ADS. ADS. So, the ADS stands for American Dead Squad. American Dead Squad. Yes. Wow. So that was it. The main king. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so um, you guys are parents from him. Um, American Death Squad is his team. And right now, we want to hear from Eric um, about what he's been up to and what he's been working on behind the scenes because we've all been working on very big projects. And uh, it's going to amaze you to find out the people working on this major projects you guys have been seeing on the internet and this is one of such person even if he didn't start a conversation like that he's trying to be very modest i know trying to start it very very soft but yeah please let's go hard on this tell us what you've been up to and the brand you've been affiliated with the brand you've been working with and pretty much your roadmap in the esports scene okay, yeah uh, uh, pretty much uh, i'm behind the scene for the infinix game master ah yeah and we've been doing it for a couple of years and uh since uh, we are about the sixth edition now mm. and uh so far it's been awesome yeah. like living my space yeah. focusing in nigeria and how to see how we can grow the esports community yeah and uh so far so good uh, We've gone. To, we, are, we are somewhere, and we are we are going far. So, 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 how long have you guys been doing this thing? Like, what and what have been you guys' motivation? Because I have been personally seeing Infinix Gaming Masters um, for a long time on the internet. I never knew that Eric is the one in charge of these projects. But then again, um, I, I really want to know, like, when you guys started, what the goal, what the plan was when you guys started and what the plan is right now and where you guys are going to with Infinix Gaming Masters. Okay, yeah, uh, the whole Infinix Gaming Master thing it was an idea, you know, we are going here building mobile phones and oh. uh, during uh, the time of work and schedule phone. So we came together to say, okay, how we can get uh, our customers experience good gaming yeah. while using our mobile phone yeah and uh, we came together to do something to have an ip called the infinite gaming master ah. which was where we started releasing good mobile phones for mobile gaming okay and yeah so uh, it's been going on for more than three years two years three, three, three years yeah. wow uh, we also have the global part okay uh, we have other countries also pushing this and uh, so far we have different category of phones yeah. to meet different category of uh, games. Wow. Yes. And wow. Uh, so far, how will I say, uh, we gotten champions wow. from Nigeria yeah. with our mobile phones and uh, they've, so far they've testified that yes, uh, Infinix has done something no brand has done. Yeah. Being an OEM for a mobile phone and also coming in line to promote mobile gaming in Nigeria and globally. So for our non-tech uh, um, participants and yeah. viewers, what's the meaning of OEM? OEM is like a uh, original manufacturer. Yeah. Wow. So we produce the full thing on the film. Wow. So they, they have people that don't produce the force. Okay. So they are just like a brand on their own. So yeah. we produce the mobile phones. mobile phones so wow. just like an original original manufacturer. manufacturer yeah wow that's that's so that's so lovely guys i've just been schooled by eric today at least i've learned something new and i believe that you guys have also learned something new and um um we are going to be um getting into something else which is to pretty much talk about 
the innovation of esports tech and the the future because I, 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 I we there have been a lot of conversations around AI that's uh, artificial intelligence yes, and um, AR augmented reality and the whole metaverse conversation okay. so for you as Infinix as a brand as a person and your goal your future where do you see AR coming into play and AI too coming into play or are we just going to be on the processor level all through for the future for gaming or is there going to be a place that AI is going to be involved in gaming like can AI just tell you like the skills to use to be undefeated can AI give you like um, um, cheat codes because again sorry to say guys AI is changing the way we see the yeah. and people call it like cheats sometimes so can ai be used to manipulate the esports scene in the future is it going to be a positive manipulation or positive influence in the scene or do you think it's going to be a negative influence or do you think a lot of developers are going to capitalize on the ai to build more engaging interface for gamers what do you yeah, think uh, i think uh the ai will do a lot more than what we are expecting yeah because uh now it has already started yes on some mobile phones I wouldn't say just my mobile phone. Yes. For my own mobile phone brand, that's already started. So we have a, 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 a program or a code that studies the user. Wow. Yes, and AI feature that studies the user. It tells you when you play a game, okay, if it's time, it studies you yeah. when you know you usually play games. Yeah. And when it gets to that time, it informs you that yeah. it's time for you to play a game. If you want to play, yeah. you click OK, it will automatically launch the the uh, special game or the most played game. Played game, wow. Yeah, on that phone for wow. you to play. Uh, yeah. And when it's time for you to stop, it tells you. Wow. It capitalizes <laughs> on your people oh your, my God. and when you're about to start. Yeah. So for the other angle, when you said uh, what AI can actually do, yes. Yes, sir. I will just give you a, a little peek from what is about to happen. Right. When it comes to uh, AI, AI is big. Very big, sir. We don't really uh, know what AI is all about. Yes, sir. AI is so big that it can actually explain the fundamental of a human life wow. without you even expecting it today. Wow. So where AI comes into mobile games, AI can actually teach you to be a professional player. So AI can there can, there can be a code and an instructor, AI instructor that can tell you, okay, this is like what you need to do. Yes, this yes. Scenario in this situation, yes. you need to do this. Okay, how do you shoot? If yes. You want to aim the, uh, your enemy or your opponent. Yes. What points you need to shoot? So AI would like show you a reality or a scenario. Yes, sir. Of what it wants you to do, and when you do it, this is the result you're going to get. Wow. And instead of people looking for people to teach that player I cannot try to teach you into being the flow player. player yeah so it's coming so that means AI instructors is going to be yes, it's coming the it's already coming wow. same way they have the chat GPT yes. writing for you yes serving mass for you yes AI can teach you yeah how to play play you yeah. so now it boils down to the phone capacity yeah if your phone can support can support that that app the P or that yeah. program. Yeah, the program. So, and yeah. network as well. Network too. So it's common. So wow. We should expect more. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like I'm so amazed, guys. I'm so uh, amazed. That's then, interesting. Yeah. Then for the uh the visual reality part. Yes, sir. Uh you talked about what the VR can naturally do. Yeah. Uh if you notice very well, uh we play games, yeah. right? Pop G. Free Fire, uh, Firelight, COD, yeah. different games, but we really don't have much of the African content. Yeah, very true, very yes. true. We don't have much of the African content. Mm -hmm. the, the reason being that uh, most of the publishers are not based in Nigeria, oh. or they, you actually don't know how Nigeria be like. Right? Yeah. So if you tell a common white man to explain how the African looks like, he will tell you something you normally see on the movies. On the movies, but yeah. Now show them videos yeah. from 
the African, they will tell you, are you in Africa? Are you in Africa? We say yes. That's where we're in the Africa. genus Africa. circle. Africa. Africa. Yeah. Africa. <laughs> Africa. Nigeria, like this, no, damn. Exactly. No. It's in Nigeria. This is the inner that, circle, guys. In the movie, in yeah. the ends, in yeah. the movie, they don't portray the real or the new African look. Exactly. They tell you to give that forensic scenario. Yeah. That portrays us as, as primitive. Primitive. Yeah. The VR is coming. Uh, where you play games and you feel yourself in your community. Wow. Yes. That's going to be so. So, what the plan point. we're doing in the future is building that augmented reality in your community. Maybe you're playing like a COD and uh, you get to find out that the map you're playing, your street, is on the map. It's on the map. Wow. And your area location, yeah. Keja. Is on the map. Yeah. And being that we are Africans, and uh, you know, Keja will be there. Very well. I'll be, we'll be. Yeah. Uh, I would have to put Keja on that bridge. I'll be waiting for you. Which way is it going? Uh, from far. I don't know. If you don't want to take the route of Keja, you want to take maybe Shogule. Yeah. I'll go to Shogule. Exactly. I'll wait for him. So, if something we are expecting, something beautiful, something unimaginable, and when it comes, it's going to blow the world. Because the African culture has different scenery we have the cool. we have the the forestic scene yeah. we have the urban and the rural scene yeah. so it's going to be like a collective mixture of uh of uh, reality whereby people would adapt to different things and you get to lock one part and oh another part oh let me go to this uh forestic scene maybe uh, you go to the Yes. Yeah. Where they have much of a bigger landmass, and you come to Lagos, so you have the water scene, you have the beach, and so you should expect more from the, the visual reality. So, do you think that AI is going to be a problem whatsoever? Because some people, like you know, Musk, is saying that AI should be um, regulated, it should be restricted, and um, that is posing a yeah, sure. existential risk to humans and human learning process because now. People are able to solve maths like you earlier, you mentioned earlier. People are able to solve physics questions, write a full code. You know, um, ChatGPT4 right now, I think, is able to um, compose full script for movies down to one hour, content two hours, writers. content writers, cause, um, and also down to helping you to create images. So I see, like, even um, within the designing space, there is a code that I think it's ChatGPT, there's a plugin that you can connect to your. Adobe After Effects, that you can use command to create, um, um, to render images. So you want to create a black image with a red love, or oh, sorry, a black background and a star, a red star image there. Just put the code. Please create a red background and a, a black background with a red, red star image on it. And ChatGPT will automatically write that code on the program and give it that same thing because this is something that people need to go and learn. People need to attend different courses. But now AI is just making it easy. So you are beating a lot of people's job just to, you know, um, work with this AI. So AI is, I don't know, because people like Elon Musk and some other tech gurus are saying that AI needs to be regulated. It needs to be restricted. It's posing an existential risk. So what would you say to that? Do you think it's posing an existential risk? Or do you think it's good that the internet and machine learning is now decentralized and open, and it's not just available for the big tech companies. Okay. Uh, for this part, I would go on two points. Two points. The the negative side and the positive side. Yes, sir. So I will start with uh, the negative side first. Then I will go to the positive. Positive side. Yeah. For the negative side, uh, I would say why will the state team yeah. they should regulate. I don't know if you uh, watch uh, the movie Iron Man. No, is it uh, Iron Robots? Iron Robots, yes, sir. Will yeah. Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Yeah. If you check very well, uh, the Iron Robots were well organized. Yeah. They were intelligent and they were acting accordingly, according to program. Yes. And at one point, the virus was reached into the the, the, the courts. And uh, the, the the robots started operating themselves yes. from the command. From the command. So I think uh, that's where it's coming from. You know, when you build from one state, humans, we are we are fond of one thing. We are too inquisitive, and we always want to know, and we want to know. 
I reward to do more. If you give somebody A, he wants B, and he wants C, Oliver Twist, we are never satisfied. So he's trying to portray that image into the modern day life. So what we are seeing on uh, the Iron Man yeah. is something. I robot. I'm mean, sorry, I, I robot. Yeah. Even in Iron Man, Iron Man. it happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's something that won't happen if it's not controlled. Yeah. You have hackers everywhere, and you can write a code or write the program, and whenever you want that, hacker can just come in and override, override and write this whole program and change the command, and that object can harm it. Yes, one other risk that I, uh, and I, one other thing that I also noticed was is uh, the fact that AI is, is you know, obviously machine learning. So it's definitely going to be smarter than humans, just like Elon Musk mentioned. And this is just for obvious reasons, because why? All humans are beginning to ask ChatGPT all the questions in this world, every write this. So ChatGPT is beginning to understand all our problems in every single region. So it's able to save those data to a central processing unit and store that. And the scariest thing is that if I have my phone here and you have your phone over there and my phone doesn't have power, ChatGPT or AI is still living on your device. So if your phone goes off right now, it's living on the next person's device. So you can see that AI is, it can't be killed because right now there's no way every or the whole world is going to run out of power. So we are all going to have power to power this machine that is constantly learning our life, learning about us. So what if this machine decide to revolt? They decide to back up the information to another AI that has a body because we do have AIs that are also trained for military purpose. The ones that have um, missile connected to themselves, the ones that can um, do some military stunts. So what if ChatGPT decides to upload all of our information to such AI, giving them all the defec defensive mechanism of humans, so making them understand all human problem, how to divert from all human like risk that human can pose, because they are definitely smarter than all humans, because now this is all human information on the server. So I don't know. I believe that the future is going to be very, very juicy, but it's really scary on the other part because we never can tell what AI is able to do. Siri is advancing based on the update on your device, based on exactly the update on the hardware of the phone. So the more the hardware keep uh, updating, keep upgrading, then the um, software itself keeps updating. So you start seeing new versions of Siri that is able to have an argument with you or decide to play it safe with you at some point. But I don't know. AI is just taking over the future, in my own opinion. But um, you said about, you talked about the um, positive side and the negative side of AI. But yeah, in my opinion, is um, it's 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 all positive, and it's also just like marijuana. Sorry, I'm gonna be mentioning this. Depending on, it's used for medical purposes, and it's also used to you know um, render people on the street useless. People when that when yeah, people that don't people that abuse the drugs just go on the streets, but. When you really look at it, marijuana is used for medical purposes to, you know, I think for bones, for hair, for some other things too as well. But I think that's how AI is also going to look like in the future, where in the hands of the wrong people, there's going to be really abused. And I think that's why people like Elon Musk are calling for the regulation of AI. Yeah. Yeah, for, for my own perspective. Yes, sir. Uh, let me speak from one angle from the, the positive side. Yes, sir. So, uh, like, what you said, AI has come and it has come to stay. Yeah. And what we tend to do is how to control and make a better part of it. Now, uh, the AI is also like a helper. Yeah. To the designer, the the content writer, the the graphics, the coder, anybody. AI can help you. They even have AI vacuum cleaner that helps you to clean your house. Wow. Yeah, it goes around and it senses death and it cleans, even yeah. the one that cleans the, the restroom yeah. and stuff. So AI has, everything has a good and positive side. So you can't just overlook the the good side and uh, yeah. the, the one to embrace the negative side. Negative side. We've not gotten to that. That's like part the COVID-19 virus, COVID-19 COVID vaccine. We've not gotten to that part yet. It's gonna kill so the one where it's gonna kill a few people. See how we can work with the good part. Yeah. And for now, AI can, uh, like you said, the ChatGPT doesn't really study much of human what it does is it collects information and the information it collects the target is what you write yes what we're asking information it, yes information research yeah you get now you're moving to 
uh, people writing codes. Yeah. ChatGPT can build the website for you. Because yeah. somebody has already done that work and programmed it into ChatGPT. ChatGPT did come out of its own. Somebody wrote the code. And not just one, they have a lot of people working on that ChatGPT. Yes. So if ChatGPT can design the website for you, means a professional website designer is with ChatGPT. If ChatGPT can write a content for you, then a professional content writer mm-hmm. is with ChatGPT. ChatGPT. So if you tell ChatGPT to then, or AI to then, design a weapon for you to give. And in fact, and he does it, mm-hmm. then know that someone here yeah. is already writing a program for yeah. ChatGPT yeah. to be able to do that. If there's some information, you would ask ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will tell you. He is a program, he doesn't know yeah. this, but based on Juma yes. research, he, he, suggests an answer. he can suggest for you. Yes. So which tells you that he doesn't really know. It's what somebody has given to him in the past. The past. That he's given to him. Yeah. And if you if you note very well, the same thing ChatGPT gives to you is what he's going to give to the next person. Next person. So there is no more threat when it comes to ChatGPT. People always say there is a threat because uh, the how will I put it? It's the the the, the person that owns or the CEO of the company that will pull out the threat or being selfish or being stingy. I see ChatGPT now in any sector as a means of a faster processing. Lovely. The job done. Lovely. I can write a program and uh, you tell me, okay, the closing hour is five o'clock. And you tell me, oh, I've done this. No, please, can you add this, 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 this? And you know that I can achieve this within that uh, stipulated time yes. that you give that short period of so that I can just tell you to help me do it. It helps you to fasten your job. Yes, sir. Even the designer. Yeah. There are some things you want to do yeah. and your knowledge is not well grounded to do that. ChatGPT supports you. So any employer or employee seeing uh, ChatGPT as a threat yeah. to uh, his job or uh, saying it as a way to lay off his staff is selfish. Because even if you you lay off uh, your staff, right? Yes, sir. You also need somebody to in manage the charge. To manage the charge. Yeah. You can't do all at once. At once. Okay, so I hear you. So I think what you're saying in essence is that um, humans need to find a way to collaborate with AI yes. and be more effective and to be a more effective creature too as well yeah um yeah so that's good now that's so good so we're going to be taking a quick break okay and back everybody um so i'm still here with eric and from infinix and yeah so eric um please i would like to ask what infinix plans for the year 2023 is um if you guys have anything cooking if you have some stuffs going on i do know about the yeah we have found it yeah it. man uh, the you guys have found it yeah i'm going down all right so please hit us up with what's going on with the phoenix this year oh yeah oh for this year uh we'll be going in big time uh, some of the information will be a little bit not exposed okay but it's a plan oh yeah sure yeah uh, but uh i'll just give uh three other weeks uh, so one, we are doing something with Free Fire, and we've always partnered with Free Fire. We have Free Fire. partnership with Free Fire, so to all the Free Fire guys, let's go. Chill out. Something is coming for you. Yes, and really. the other hand, we also have Pop G. Pop G is over. Yes. So last year, in, uh, 
signed a deal with PUBG, uh, but we did it on a low scale because uh, the deal closed up almost at the end of the year. So we just did a little activation and uh, for this year we'll be doing something big uh, for PUBG this year as well. Yeah. And uh, for the guys in the campus, uh, just expect Infinix. Infinix is coming to the campus. campus. So Infinix Gaming Master Campus Club. They will Good. have people from all campuses playing this sport and you have this wow. team in all campuses and you have something big. That's that going to be you. so, so lot Expect big. more. Wow. The future is now. Future is now, people. Future is now. So um, campus tour is going to be crazy. That's like making every university have like an esports team so they can yes. compete against each other to promote esports across um, the tertiary institutions in Nigeria. That's so lovely. That's really amazing. So we need wow. to let them know that there is more to esports than, you know. Yeah, than just competitive games. Make a hell of money out of esports. Wow. Yeah.